Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome to the Ant-Man channel. It is Wednesday the 12th of March 2014 and I am your host. And um, a lot of stuff going on in the world of religion, I guess if you want to say. I guess we can call it religion just for historical context because we need a, we need a word for it, right? Spirituality, whatever. Well, I got a uh, got an article here from WND.com under the column Education, and this is entitled "Christians Order to Teach Wiccan Pagan Rights: Court to Rule on Government's Decision to Control Religion Classes." This is by Bob Unra. So, this article has a picture of the Pope on the cover of Time magazine, Pope Francis Person of the Year. I mean, what? I don't know, man. Person of the Year, you know, Obama's got the Peace Prize. I mean, whoa. I mean, uh, they have a funny way of awarding people these days. Uh, so anyway, let me just get into this article. A dispute over whether government can require Catholic schools to teach Wiccan and Pagan rights as equal to the Ten Commandments and the resurrection of Jesus is heading to Canada's highest court. Did you guys hear that? Wiccan and pagan rights as equal to the Ten Commandments and the resurrection of Jesus. You guys got to be kidding me. Faith-based educational institutions should be free to live and operate according to the faith they teach and espouse, said Gerald Chipur of uh, uh, QC of the Canadian firm Miller Thompson LLP. If the government can force... Loyola High School to violate its faith, then the government can do the same to others, said Chipur, a lawyer affiliated with the Alliance Defending Freedom. The battle is over a government program adopted in Quebec in 2008 called Ethics and Religious Culture. That is mandatory for all public and private schools. It's pre well, it prevents all religions from Christianity to Wiccan as equally valid and requires schools to teach the beliefs in that fashion. It also bans teachers, including those at private, denominational, or church schools, from expressing their opinion that their own school's faith is preferred. The government ordered that challenged by um, the government order was challenged, excuse me, by Loyola High School, which is run by the Jesuits, a Roman Catholic order founded by Saint Igna Ignatius of Loyola. Wow! If you guys don't know who the Jesuits are, they're like the uh, they're like the, the, they do the dirt for the Catholic Church, the Vatican. They're like the CIA of the Vatican or whatnot. They're really weird. They're, uh, the, they implant certain people into societies all over the earth to cause a type of, uh, disorder or conflict within a, with, within a culture, in a society. To overthrow governments and to set up certain types of people in government. Yes, this is true, by the way. Sounds crazy, I know, but yeah, you guys, there is a... The uh, time of neo-feudalism is at hand, my friend, where there is a type of religious right. And there is a an arbitrary secret society. <laughs> you know, it's like... I don't know how to explain this to you guys, but you guys have to have a, a considerable amount of faith and Bible education to understand this. The school provides an education that is publicly faithful to the author authoritative teachings of the Catholic Church. ADF filed a brief with the Supreme Court of Canada in support of the Catholic school after the court granted permission for other denominations to present arguments in the case. The school had asked not to be exempted from the required teachings, but to allow to make modifications in support of its religious faith. This school does not object to educating students about the diversity of faiths and what makes each faith distinctive, but the government should not require a Catholic school to tell its students that the Catholic faith is no more valid than a myriad of conflicting faith traditions, said Alliance Defending Freedom Senior Counsel Brett Harvey. All faith-based institutions must be free to speak and act consistently with their faith. The brief explains that the court itself previously has ruled that when a government action had a religious motivation, it must be declared of no force or effect. The motivation for the min uh, ministerial decision is clear and obvious. It is the same motivation that drives any jurisdiction to enact anti-blasphemy laws. 
the protection of religion. The protection of religion is a laudable objective if done right. Unfortunately for Loyola, it was done wrong in this case and has led to limits on the religious speech of Loyola staff and students simply because the speech is religious, says the argument. Unfortunately for Quebec, the ministerial decision places the government of Quebec with governments in Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Indonesia, and Pakistan, where Catholics daily face limitations on what they can say for fear of being charged with violations of anti-blasphemy laws. The brief explains that the government considered the, conf the confessional nature of the teachings proposed by Loyola and thus deprived the ministerial decision of any val validity. An unconstitutional purpose renders a government action of no force or effect without the need for further analysis or inquiry. A previous court decision said the guarantee of freedom of conscience and religion prevents the government from compelling individuals to perform or abstain from performing otherwise harmless acts because of the religious significance of those acts to others. Wow. The most important consideration in this appeal is the nature of a religious school. That nature precludes teachers and administrators that abandoning their faith for one class or one hour during the school day without fundamentally changing the character of the school. The brief explains, in nations of the world where blasphemy laws are enforced, human rights rarely receive protection. Blasphemy laws are not the hallmark of a free and democratic society. However, there is no other way to describe the ministerial decision. The assessment upon which the ministerial decision was based insisted upon a program that did not include any opinion from teachers on the subject of religion. Blasphemy laws are characterized by the prohibition against religion opinions, offensive to the government of the day. Well, thank God, you know, you could say whatever you want to about the Founding Fathers and if they were Freemasons and whatnot. Um... They wrote an awesome constitution. Our constitution says that that we will that are that you know the government shall not you know establish any type of religion or favor an establishment of religion and put it as a kind of interest, a private interest into the way that it um, legislates. But you know it's uh, really um, uh, one of the biggest misinterpretations of our time is. Uh, what Thomas Jefferson wrote in a letter that I cannot remember what it was called right now, but I have it as a PDF file because I read it sometimes. Um, Thomas Jefferson, when he wrote about the separation of church and state, meant that you are allowed to express your religious opinions and to live by your convictions. That is, that is at the foundation of what the Founding Fathers believed. The secular humanists do not believe that you are a free person, that you're born free and with inalienable rights. They believe that everything is rel relative, that whatever time that you're living in, uh, that's the way that it is, and that it, it's only, you know, this has to do with how the, even the word religion comes about too, because religion is the study of people that are partaking in tradition, and partaking in whatever ordinances that they do in their religion, that's religion, when you study what people do. Theology, reformed theology, is studying the word of God, not studying what people behave like. There's two different, it's, it's a very uh, distinct and different uh, meaning to both the words. And, and, and nowadays people just throw in Christianity with religion. What I believe is Christianity is not a religion. I, I believe that it's the truth and it is the answer to all humanity and all of our problems. But we'll never accept that because... Um, Man is just evil and seems to want to only glorify himself and not God and not want to answer to anybody. But you know what I mean? It's just how it is. But The case of significance beyond Canada according to the Homeschooled Legal Defense Association in the United States because it would provide further legal basis for government to tell parents how to educate their children, even about faith matters. HLS, or HSLDA, which has a branch in Canada, asserted that a negative ruling by the nation's highest court would threaten the right of all parents to teach children in accordance with their religious beliefs. The idea that parents, not governments, should decide how and what children are taught regarding values and religion is enshrined in fundamental notions of basic human freedom. Children are not the mere creatures of the state, and this idea has been uniformly held up as a vital human rights norm all over the world, the organization said. Well, we teach evolution. I believe that evolution is at the very foundation of the dumbing down of our society. Because you get to not look at yourself for what you are, the image made in the image of God. Made as bearers of wanting to keep your temple holy as, a, you know, 
a way to show, you know what I mean, honor and, 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 and praise and, and worship to God, living holy lives, repentant lives. But, you know, um, yeah, I could go on with that. But, you know what I mean, it's, they've gotten you to think of yourself as an animal that has no purpose. You're just a projection of some type of computer program. You're a, uh, you're a hologram. You're not really here right now. You're not really conscious. On that show Cosmos, whatever, on the History Channel, the Propaganda Channel, they were talking about how you're not really conscious. You're not really a human being until you're four years old. That's freaking scary, dude. Imagine the youth in Asia, the, the, the murdering of innocent children that's going to happen because of that. They're probably going to start telling you to abort your children at age three pretty soon. That if you don't want your children at age three anymore, you could abort them. You know, that, that's a possibility with the things that science is saying nowadays. They sound crazy. They sound like religious nut jobs to me. They've left science and they've gone straight to, you know, the kind of stuff that great dictatorships are made of. Um, let's see. Paul Ferris of the Homeschool Legal Defense Association of Canada said that it is that if the lower court ruling stands, it undermines the very foundations that protect homeschooling. Whatever the court decides will apply to everyone right across the country. A loss could seriously restrict homeschooling freedom, he said. The Canadian Charter of Right and Freedoms, part of the Canadian Constitution, states that everyone has the fundamental freedoms of conscience and religion. However, the Quebec legislature modified in its own charter to let the government impose the curriculum on unsuspecting parents and educators. Michael Donnelly, the Director of International Affairs of HSL, DA said the trend in recent years to restrict homeschooling in Quebec is extremely concerning, particularly in light of this case. Freedom of religion in Canada is essential for homeschoolers in Canada. If this case is lost, the right to homeschool will be called into question for all of Canada, he said. Arguments are expected before the court soon, with a decision coming later this year. This article goes on and on. So, w WMD has reported on instances in which the Canadian government ordered enforcement of a moral uh, position or belief previously. You know, only in ancient Rome did they have a type of authority over morality. It was called the censor. The censor was, he was, re he was actually, he was regarded as the most respected person in all of, uh, of all of government because of his position. People, he wasn't even the highest authority in the government, but everybody wanted to be the censor. Everybody respected his position. This guy would go around and he would see if people were just having parties all day and having fun all day because they, the Romans looked at themselves as manly men, like virtuous manly men. If you were acting like a fool, if they saw, if, if we were actually like Romans and we saw how the society is in our day today and we saw the way that men acted in our time, if we were looking at it from a Roman perspective, we would be fighting people all day. We would be punking people all day for acting like feminine little little gangbanger wusses. That's what we'd be doing. We'd be like, what are you doing, you little punk? You know what I mean? Because it's, it's, provo it's provoking good people. Because when you walk around and you're just flipping off society all day, that, that would provoke people who are very zealous to be good people. And you don't have that nowadays. And I'm not saying that censor, being a censor is a good thing that would work in our society, in our government, because it wouldn't. The, the Founding Fathers had the best way of dealing with religion, and that was that you can just practice it whenever you want. You can practice it. Just do it. You know what I mean? Um, nobody has the authority to tell you what to practice. It's your conscience. Your conscience is your property, and you're supposed to hold that as an unalienable right that nobody can take away from you. So, let me just get this back into this. Education Minister Laurel Broughton said on the issue of abortion, the Catholic teachings are one, of, are one aspect that we teach in our schools, but we do not allow, and we're very clear with the passage of Bill 13, that Catholic teachings cannot be taught in our schools that violate human rights and which bring the lack of acceptance to participation in schools. She noted the same law and standards apply to the issue of teaching homosexuality. Bill 13 has it in a clear indication of ensuring that our schools are safe, accepting places for all of our students that includes LGBTQ students. Bill 13 is about tackling misogyny, mis, misogyny, misogyny, oh misogyny, taking away a woman's right to choose could arguably be one of the most misogynistic 
actions that one could take. This article goes on. If you guys want to read it, you guys can come on to this. I'm not going to read it. There's even a video here. Um, it is called um, Christians Order to Teach Wiccan Pagan Rights. And this is from WND under the column of education, so go check it out. Uh, I didn't read a couple of uh, paragraphs here. But, um, yes, just to share with you guys something that a, a man named Hitler said. He said, give me control of the books and I, can con and I will control the entire nation. Meaning that, you guys, what they're teaching your children, what the state is teaching your children is, a, is of a gigantic importance to you and to future generations of this country. So if you guys care about the education that your children are receiving, start to question truth. Start to ask yourself, are they teaching kids the truth about creation, about science, about the way that you're supposed to view science, scientific method through observation, critical thinking, the cognitive way to think. You know what I mean? Uh, problem action, uh, knowing how to solve things on your own. Because certain teachers nowadays, they don't teach you the, the real way to teach people is to make them think for themselves. Not to give them presuppositional uh, standpoints, you know what I mean? And that's evolution. It's all presuppositions based on faulty mechanisms of, you know, mutation and, and, um, and uh, natural selection. But it's, all this stuff is really imagination and you can't observe it as real science. So, you guys, man, that's just one thing, you know what I mean? Look at all the other things that they teach you guys children Christopher Columbus discovering America are you serious but anyway uh, get into the fight you know this is a spiritual warfare so get into it and I hope you guys have a good day God bless